Well, things got a little heated at the Tyler City Council meeting this week as Mayor Martin Hines defended the city's proposed property tax increase after a representative from the Greater Tyler Association of Realtors voiced opposition for it. Take a look. Year after year, increased property taxes will cause current homeowners to not be able to afford to keep their homes. So if you want to sell houses, if you want your customers to be happy, which I want them to be, is we have to have money to take care of the streets. Now you heard Mayor Hines talk about streets. Peyton Whiteman lays out what impact the property tax increase would have on our roads. Hey Peyton. Hey Channing, almost 79 miles worth of roads would be improved with money from an increased property tax. The city has proposed raising it from the current 24.44 cents for $100 of property value to 25.99 cents, giving Tyler double the amount of from previous years for street maintenance. The city is aware that there are a lot of streets with problems, but again, this is something that we are actively working towards uh, fixing. No one likes bumpy roads. That's why the city has a seal coat program, which is where a protective layer from water, oils, and sun damage is added on top of streets. So it puts a protective coating on the street surface and it really just extends the life. The property tax that um, is proposed to be increased really focuses on seal coating. From the proposed tax rate, two cents will go to this program. We're getting generally around $750,000 a year to do this seal coat process. So obviously this increase uh, to two cents is gonna give the city about one and a half million dollars a year for streets all over the city. It could be anywhere within the city. The seal coat is mostly used in residential neighborhoods as opposed to some of the more major streets. The reason behind the push for a property tax raise and street improvement comes down to a pavement condition index number. Right now, the city is at a 77 out of 100, which is like a C. And the intent of doubling the amount of money in this one specific funding source for seal coat projects is basically to get our overall pavement condition rating up into the high 80s. The city is still working on what roads could see improvements in the next fiscal year if the proposed budget and property tax increase are approved. The Tyler City Council will have another budget presentation and public hearing September 11th and September 25th. It will be voted on and take effect coming October 1st. We've got you covered, Tyler. Peyton Weidman, CBS 19.